Today was a day fixed for the written submissions to be filed at the Cape Coast High Court here in the Asin North MP's dual citizenship case. It was going to be a day the judge was going to announce the date judgment of the matter would be given. Lawyers for the EC and that of the petitioner filed their submissions, but lawyers for the Asin North MP did not file their written submissions, but instead filed two applications. The first application was an application for the judge presiding over the petition to recuse himself. Abraham Amalba alleged Justice Kwesi Buache had made comments that predetermined the case pending before him. They say there is a rare likelihood of bias on the part of the judge, and if they went on, a miscarriage of justice would be occasioned. Abdullah Hassan is a member of the legal team of the MP for Asin North. His comments or opinion, the judge had already determined that at the time of nomination, the time of nomination was the proper time for him to have filed that and for that matter which is which means that once it didn't happen at that time he was disqualified and this is before the determination of the substantive matter so the likelihood of bias is that this statement is prejudicial and does not conduce well to the administration of justice for the judge to continue being on the matter and so that matter was determined the judge said he was he, he 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 could be fair and that it did not amount to bias and that he would proceed with the matter but the date was fixed for us to come and move our application for stay of proceedings the presiding judge justice kwesi buache described the claims against him as baseless and one that has no justification he says there are no records to prove whether he made such statements and he does not remember ever making such a statement he subsequently dismissed the application Lawyers for the petitioner described the application for the judge to recuse himself as a time-wasting tactic adopted by the lawyers for the Asin North MP. Nana Buache is a member of the legal team of the petitioner. And we have stated our case forcefully and we have supported with case evidence. Today we have even filed our closing addresses and um, we are sure that a respondent will be served. So for us, I mean all of these are just delay antics and then just to drag the matter behind but we are forthright um, and resolute that this matter will be determined and it will be determined on the merits of this case and based on the 1992 constitution and the relevant laws regarding the qualification of an aspirant to be a candidate or to be elected as a member of parliament that particular application uh, was rejected by the court uh, the court held that yes there is not on record nothing of that sort happened and um, so the judge will go on until a higher authority or um, a superior court determines otherwise the second application was a stay of proceedings until the court of appeal here's the matter filed before it by the lawyers for the asin not mp they say there were some jurisdictional matters the judge did not address and if it is allowed to stay their client would not get justice the determination for the case to be stayed would be made on the 18th of May, the agenda date. Richard Kwejonyaako, Joy News, Cape Coast.